All right, what's going on guys? In this video, we're doing a simple, easy meatball recipe. We're gonna smoke them up. I'm gonna throw them on the smoker. We're gonna do an easy tomato sauce. We're gonna make sliders, nice and cheesy. You can do a regular sandwich, a regular hoagie, however you wanna do it. You can do this with some pasta, whatever sounds good to you. But stick around guys, check it out. Here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make a panade. So if you don't know what a panade is, basically it just keeps your meatballs nice and moist so they don't dry out. You don't get no dry balls. And so usually the ratio of breadcrumb that I use is for every pound of meat, I do a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. So I'm going with three pounds of meat. I have three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm starting out with three quarters of a cup of whole milk. So I'm doing equal parts of that. I'm just gonna get that mixed together. Also for every pound of meat, I go with one egg. So I'm doing three eggs. I'm doing a nice pinch of kosher salt in there. I'm gonna sprinkle in some red chili flakes, black pepper. I'm just gonna finely grate in some uh, some cloves of garlic. Just going with like four, maybe five. Yeah, four cloves is good enough. Now I'm just gonna eyeball. I got some Parmigiano Reggiano right there. I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's gonna add to the seasoning. It's gonna get a good amount of that in there. So the meat that I'm using for this is a pound of beef, pound of ground pork. And I usually can never find veal anywhere, but I got this veal right here in the freezer section of the store. So I figured I'd pick it up and check it out. But if all you had was pork and beef, just go with that. I'm just gonna get this in the bowl. So all I'm gonna do is just work this through, mix everything. And also, what I just did was wrong. I just threw the meat in there without mixing the panade, uh, panade mixture up ahead of time, which is kind of dumb, but just really wasn't thinking about it. But make sure you mix up the egg and breadcrumb and all that milk and everything first before you put the meat in there. But it should be all right, it should be fine. And just to check for seasoning, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna do a little patty and cook it in a pan just to check if it's too bland. Then I'm gonna adjust the seasoning for that. So the meat was under seasoned. I went back and put a little salt in there so it should be all right now. But I got myself an ice cream scoop. This is what they use at the restaurant I work at. Um, you can just use your hands and you know make the size of meatballs however you want to do it. But I'm just gonna pack it in like that. Just get them on the parchment paper. So normally what you would do is you would sear these off in a pan and take the meatballs back out and then build the sauce in the pan and throw them back in there and cook them like that. But what I'm gonna do is, got the pellet smoker coming up to temperature. I'm gonna throw these on, get some nice color on these. We're gonna make the sauce. And then we're gonna add these to the sauce and finish them off in there. And then we're gonna make the sliders. I'm trying to fit three pounds of meat on one sheet pan. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but we're gonna find out. Should be all right. All right, smoker's going to 225 degrees. I'm gonna cook these until they're about 150 internal, something like that. And then I'm gonna take them off, finish them off in the sauce. All right, so for the easy tomato sauce we're gonna do, get some olive oil in a pan or a pot. Got three and a half ounces of pancetta I'm gonna throw in there. If you don't know what pancetta is, basically it's Italian bacon that's not smoked. Cook that for a few minutes. I'm using two cans of San Marzano tomatoes. Use some decent tomatoes. Don't get the cheapest shit out there. Spend a little bit of cash. You don't have to get the most expensive stuff. Just don't get like that generic stuff that you see. I'm gonna add some red pepper flake in there. Good amount because I want some spice. Just give that a mix. Black pepper. And a good amount of salt. Make sure it's seasoned pretty good. And like a dummy, I forgot to put the garlic in the oil to fry it up a little bit before I threw everything else in. So I'm grating in about four cloves of garlic going in there. And I got a good amount of fresh basil going in there. Just let that go on a low simmer. When the meatballs are done, I'm gonna throw them in here. All right, so this is what we got exactly one hour on the smoker at, well, I started out at 225 degrees and after 20 minutes I checked and I just cranked it up to 275 and it, you know, it pushed through. Um, I temped these out at, they're already at like 160, so they're done. I'm still gonna throw them in the sauce and let them sit there for a little bit. They're not gonna dry out, they're not gonna get overcooked. Um, everything is gonna be fine, so. All right, so now to actually make these sliders, I got King's Hawaiian rolls right there. Get yourself a slicing knife and Try not to screw this up. So we're going with some provolone cheese. Gonna get the meatballs on there. It's a 
little bit more of that sauce on there. Some fresh basil over the top. I got this smoked mozzarella I'm gonna throw on there. Now I'm gonna to top it off with some melted butter and some garlic. I'm going back on the pellet smoker, 375 degrees until everything's golden brown and all the cheese is melted, and we're gonna be done after that. You know what, I almost forgot. A little Parmesan on the top, because why not? Easy, smoky, cheesy. Super good. Little Parmesan on the top. The bottom got a little bit soggy. I put the sliders on the, the sheet pan without any parchment or anything like that and it got kind of stuck to it. So it was hard to get off. I had to kind of scrape it to get it up. But I'll throw all the ingredients down below if you want to check it out, if you want to try to make these. You can always do this barbecue style if you want some barbecue sauce or something like that. Just try them a little bit different. But these came out hella good. You should try them out. Thank you for watching, guys. Share the video. Like the video. Subscribe if you want to. I'd appreciate it. Peace out. Thank you.